We're going to cook some eggs in our cast iron frying pan. So a lot of people out there that have issues cooking eggs in their cast iron. But this is a Lodge 10 inch cast iron pan. Warm it up. Get your butter in there. Even though they say a lot of those non-stick pans with the coating inside, they say, oh, non-stick, you still have to use grease or oil or butter. Especially when you fry eggs. Because it's not like on those TV shows where those eggs are just going to come right on out. Because they're not going to taste good either. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put four eggs in there. And this is a, like I said, it's a Lodge 10 inch cast iron pan. I got the 12 inch one, but since I'm just cooking me four eggs, I'm going to use the 10 inch. But you'll see that these cast iron pans non-stick just as non-stick as your ones with that toxic coating and stuff in them that they say once the coating starts chipping off oh you want to throw it away because it's poisonous you're cooking on poison wow I use them too but when you hear that it's poisonous when they get scratches in them and starts chipping off that it can be like poisonous makes you wonder why do you want to really use them I like my T-Fowl ones I got those are really nice but you definitely once they start cracking like they say you get rid of them flip these over yes I'm using a metal spatula I re-season my cast iron after I buy it at least once. And then I always cook bacon or something greasy in it the first time and that helps put a coating on the pan. But as you notice, they're not sticking. They turn right over. So I've never ever had issues, but there's a lot of people that make comments about their eggs and stuff sticking their cast iron, but I don't know. Add a little bit of butter, season the pan right, and I warm my pan up on uh, a little bit under medium heat and once the pan got warm I turned it down to two so like a quarter of the way and as you notice no sticking all right let's go to washing this pan out we'll see how easy that is move this camera over Run your water till it gets nice and hot. Your handles of your cast iron can get pretty warm, so you got to be real careful. You notice there's like no residue in there. You want to make sure your hot water is running hot when you put it in, or your water is running hot when you put it in there.
That's it. It's clean. Move the camera back over. Since I got a glass stove or a stove top, I'm gonna wipe off the bottom of my pan before I set it on the glass top. Then I'll put the heat on a medium heat and let it sit on there for a minute and make sure the pan gets fully dry. And that's one of the issues with cast iron, it will rust. So you gotta take care of it. But if you season it and oil it after each use or put a little tiny layer of oil on it or whatever like I do, I don't do that every time, but I do heat them up like this and then stick them in my oven. And if you rinse them off in hot water, it really, they stay hot. So you can see all the water's already gone. And those eggs are perfect. Let's get me a fork. Nice and juicy inside. That's how you like your eggs. That's how I like my eggs. See that? That's one thing nice. You got lots of yellow or liquid yolk in there. The white's all completely done. But that's one thing nice about a cast iron. You get that cooks out white really quick when you heat the pan up like that. All the white is completely done. And the yellow is nice and liquidy for you to dip your toast. Or smash on your hash browns or however you like it.